Now start praising him. Come on, start praising him. Two minutes of praise. Come on. Two minutes of praise. sitting in the back row and uh, while we were praising and everything and I just while we were doing the, the boogie with the wiggle it's gone it's gone it's gone and then you start singing the wiggle wiggle song <laughs> Tell me what during the wiggle wiggle song I told you we were coming out of our box with the wiggle 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 right yourself. I want you to first take a big stretch. I want you to stretch up. And I want you to stretch down. And I want you to twist. Things could be cracking into place right now. Maybe even do a little bit of a stretching of the legs and see how your pain feels. Try to do something you couldn't do before. Do you have less pain? Do you notice you have more movement, less restriction? Keep on testing, yeah. Move around. If I don't see you wiggling, you ain't trying. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. See, a lot of you are getting free right now while you're wiggling. You are, you're getting free. You're getting free in your mind and your body. You're coming out of that box. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I pull that stump out right now in the name of Jesus. I pull that stump out right now.
crack, crack, pop, pop, 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 crack, pop, pop, crack, crack. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Let's do it like a rapper. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. 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 Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm gonna get drunk. I better move on. <laughs> All right. So now, who has less pain and more movement? Wave at me. Wave at me if you have less pain and more movement. All right, who has 100% pain-free status right now? 100% wave at me if you are 100% pain-free. Wave at, wave. All right, so what is your name, dear? Anna. Anna, what was wrong with your spine, dear? I was actually on my tailbone and I kept feeling like I was sitting on it. How long has it been like that with your tailbone? Like six months. Six months, and it felt like what, you, when you sat on there was pressure, pain? Um, yes, very sharp pain. Sharp pain, like a, a poking sharp? Like my bone. Like, like your bone was? Like I was sitting on my bone. Ah, okay, now what level was that sharp pain, one to 10? Um, it got to eight. A stabbing eight pain for six months now. Do you know how you heard it? I don't know. I think it was uh, the idol. The idol. You think it was the idol? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? For real. Okay, so now what happened just now? Well, um, I was asking God about the financial thing because right now I'm like have nothing in my wallet, and um, then my spiritual mom gave me ten dollars, so I got to put that in. <laughs> and um, while I was praising, I kept feeling like feathers on my arm, and I just knew it was an angel. <laughs> And so when I sat down to feel it, um, it was still there. And I was like, no, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And then you started singing the Wiggle Wiggle song. <laughs> it totally went away. <laughs> During the Wiggle Wiggle song. I told you we were coming out of our box with the Wiggle Wiggle Wiggle. Right? Okay, so now how could you test it, babe? Can, can you test it by poking at it, sitting down? How would you test it? Sitting. That's why I was sitting for a while. Sitting for a while. Okay, so let's have a chair up here really quick. Can you tell on these padded chairs even too? Yes. You can. Yes. It's that bad. It's that bad. All right, let's do it then. I want you to sit down here and I want you to sit down hard. Boom. How's that feel? Yeah, wiggle, wiggle now in that chair. Yeah. How's that feel? Great. <laughs> Great, yes. Yeah. Come on, let's give God a big praise. Come on. Yeah. Tell us your name. JB. That's right. JB, everybody go. JB. <laughs> so, JB, what was up with your back? All right. Uh, about eight years ago, I had a uh, staph infection in my glute. How did you get it? No idea. I was in Thailand. It just happened. Okay. Woke up one day, and I could only do this. I could only take one step forward. And I ended up... So you couldn't walk at all except for one step at a time? Yeah, we're talking half of like six inches. So show me how you would walk when you had the staph infection. Go ahead. Like literally like this. Yeah. How long was it like that, JB? A uh, couple weeks until I finally made it. It did get so much pain. I was in so much pain that I, uh, until I got to the hospital and got an MRI. And was that overseas hospital or American? No, I was still in Bangkok. This was a five-star hospital. It was great. It had to happen. I ended up at the greatest hospital possible. Thank you, God. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, God. So after the MRI, the MRI took three hours because I couldn't sit still. I was so inflamed that my leg was shaking and uh, the MRI techs wanted to kill me. But uh, so they get me up to the room and the orthopedic surgeon who'd got uh, educated at Tulane, he'd been a surgeon for 40 years. He came and he's like, you're gonna be all right. We just need to do surgery on you. 
Yeah. So did they have to remove the infection? What did they do? What, what do you mean by the surgery? Well, it was behind the, the, the infection was behind the glute. On the bone or? Under my glute. Under your muscle, under your glute, okay. Yeah, there was no discoloration. It didn't look funny. It hurt like a? Worst pain I've ever been in. So well, you look pretty tough, so that would make me think it was pretty bad. Okay, so then what happened? Uh, so the doctor's like, you're going to be all right. We're just, we're going to have to cut you open and, and, and remove the infection. But so they went in from the side because you can't go in through the back through, cause the, or by the glute because the sciatic nerve. Okay. And they went in and cleaned it all up and it took five gallons of saline to clean it up. And it took three times as long. Uh, it was long. It was a long surgery. Brutal. So then, uh, stayed in the hospital, I was there for 29 days. Came home, was seeing my wife, Leslie, she's the chiropractor, a chiropractor. So she, made it, she did what she could, and then as years went by, she's like, you need to do, you need to do some exercise, because the, the staff had, had eaten away at my glute, like 25%. Eaten the muscle? Yeah, it atrophied it. Wow. And, uh, like Tony, I'm lazy though, so I didn't do these exercises. So, so, uh, year, years went by, and I just—I'm a truck driver, so I'm, I've been sitting crooked for quite some time. In your truck, so show. Bring a chair up here, and Leslie, come up here too, would you? Bring a chair up here. I want you to demonstrate how you had to sit in your seat in the truck because of this problem. All right, so. so I would just have to lean to the side a little bit. It wasn't that bad, but like, it eventually got bad over time. I'm sorry. Do it again because it's, it's, it's. <laughs> so you were like this with one butt cheek, which is kind of reminiscent of, you know, like I need to let some air out. Is that kind of what it looked like? Yeah, yeah, give it to, and you know, the. So how long did you have to sit like that in your truck? I, I found ways to fix it, but you know, it led into back pain. Would you put a wedge under that side or something, what? I would lean to the left, or sometimes I would make a fist and just put it right there. Sit on your fist. You would sit on your fist, for real, while you're driving one-handed. Yeah, don't, yeah. Yes, I would. So, no, don't get me wrong, but I would not want to sit on my, a rock, sitting on a rock. Wow. Okay. Well, when you got pain, you do, you do things to, to yeah, help out, you right. know. That's not the craziest thing that's ever happened with somebody with back pain. So, I've gained weight since then, and uh, it hadn't really been a problem, but it's been discomfort. You know, I've had discomfort. And to, to fast forward to now, we're sitting in the back row and uh, while we were praising and everything, and I just, while we were doing the, the boogie, the wiggle, I, t I just happened, I just tightened up and just, I, f I, I put, I went, I've never, never really checked this a whole lot, and I just ended up touching myself. My, I was like, oh, it feels the same. What do you mean it feels the same? So both sides, did they both sides feel differently before now? Yeah, yeah, yeah you could, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, let's hear from Leslie. Now, you're a chiropractor. Yeah. Now, he's saying that both sides after the surgery were different. Is that because the muscle atrophy and everything else? What was it? It was very drastic. Very drastic. When he would lay on the table on his stomach when I would work on him, I mean, his, his right glute would just, it, it was sat lower because the muscle wasn't there. So demonstrate with your hands the difference between the one side and the other. So like this one is like a bubble, you know, our butts. But this one was like... Well, people that are lucky have the bubble. <laughs> well, that's true. So, okay, so show us the bubble again on the one side. Well, you know, this. But this okay. one was sat down and, and, and also kind of at an angle. But it also can caused his pelvis to be uh, twisted. I'll, I'll just make that simple. 
Um, because of the, yeah. right. the muscle imbalance. Right. Um, and the scar, you know, the scar tissue and everything. So it was very drastic. And I, I look forward to getting back to the hotel and laying him on his stomach and really, because that's my biggest judge. I okay, mean. Okay, so look. I don't know if you can try. I don't know if you can try. You can try. Oh, oh, oh. JB, please. <laughs> Proceed. Okay, now, as you're doing that, would you kind of describe what you're experiencing? Okay. So, he, when he's standing, when he's standing, it feels, uh, I'll say equal, okay? So, like, it feels like the muscle has grown back on that right side. Have you ever felt it when he was standing before? No, not, okay. not really, but you could see it. Okay, now what does it feel like with him laying down? Now, when he's on his stomach, the, it does sit down a little bit, but I, honestly, it doesn't look muscular. It looks like the pelvis needs to be adjusted. So you think the, the pelvis is torqued, but the muscle has grown back. Yes, I have no doubt the muscle has grown back. You can feel it. You can feel the muscle has grown back in, in his glute. Yes. Wow, and JB, do you concur with that? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, okay, look, I'm married, so I have to be careful as I say this, but it looks like two round butts to me. Okay? So your muscle has grown back. Yes. Can we give God the big, come on. I want you up on your feet and I want you to jump up and I want you to praise. I want you to praise. So happy. So happy. Oh my gosh. Now, it can, when you sit down, can you feel the difference? I just want to see you sit down like you're going to drive your truck now. Okay, now, how does, how does that feel? It feels great. Do you feel like you have to sit on a rock or your fist or something? Not at all. You feel like you can be even now and actually drive your truck? Yeah, I definitely feel straighter. <laughs> Come on, cheer for God. It's so good. So happy. Wow. This is wow. Oh, what's your name? My name's Chiquita. Okay, wait, hold on a minute. Say it again. Chiquita. Chiquita? Is that like, I, I'm not making fun of you. To eat a banana and I'm not to say. Wiggle, wiggle. Did you just say wiggle, wiggle? Yeah, I did. I did. All right. So what happened, Chiquita? Well, I came up for a, a stenosis in my back, but uh, Leslie was saying it was just kind of tightness. But in my neck, I've had three discs replaced, and I've been dealing with it for only 30 years. And I told the Lord, if you just take my head off and just set it over here, let my neck get a breather. And as I was sitting there and I procrastinated, Lord, forgive me, I could feel it was like a twinger going on the left side. You felt a twinge in your neck? Yeah. I didn't feel it on the right. So I thought, well, don't go up. And the Holy Spirit said, why did you not go tell what I did for you? So do you feel less pain right now? I can move my neck and everything. You can move your neck and everything? Mm -hmm. yeah. but that's like a, the Chiquita Banana Wiggle Wiggle song. Hey, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, now did, could Leslie tell the difference? Okay, well, come up here, Leslie. Okay, first of all, you're a chiropractor, right? Yeah. Okay, do you remember her? Yes. You do. What did you feel the first time you touched her? There was a large knot on the left. A large knot on her neck. Was it a stress knot? What, what do you think? It, was it a bone? What was it? You had surgery? What did you tell yes, me? Yes, I had three discs replaced. Okay, yeah, it was a disc. Mm -hmm. So when you have disc inflammation or you have disc issues, uh, not like that, it's not uncommon. You know, it's muscular, it's inflammation, it's what we call capsular swelling. You know, it's just all that combined. Um, but it's definitely her neck is the tension has left. The knot, I still feel some, some tension over here on the left, but it's not really as... It's not as large. It's greatly reduced. So the, the knot is greatly reduced? To, uh, down to, you know, like 10%. Right. So it would, it's only 10% of it remaining? Yes. Yes. Right. So you can tell that. Yes. Yes, yes. I can. Yes. So what is your... She's squishy. She's squishy now. And she, 
she weren't squishy before. She wasn't squishy. Right. And what was your level of pain before? It was like an eight. And what's it now? Zero. Let's give God a big praise. <laughs> All right. So good.